Senator Casey asked me to provide uh, his thoughts on all train safety and uh, some aspects of some legislation that's pending in uh, D.C. dealing with this issue. The accidents we've seen across the country should serve as a wake-up call that new efforts are needed to enhance safety. Derailments in McKeesport, Vandergrift, Philly, Uniontown have raised serious questions that need to be addressed to prevent future accidents. The safe transportation of crude oil by rail is an issue that requires constant vigilance and action, including additional work to ensure more rail inspectors are on the job. Too many communities across Pennsylvania have had to worry about potential derailments, and it is important for residents to have the peace of mind in knowing that necessary actions being taken to improve safety on our nation's railways. It is estimated that 400,000 carloads of crude oil were shipped in 2015, which is 11.5 billion gallons of total oil moved with roughly 28,000 gallons per car hold. Last year, more crude, crude oil was spilled in rail accidents than nearly four decades since the government started collecting data on the spills. Crude shipments by rail have increased drastically over the past several years, largely due to the rise of production from the Bakken Shell region. Due to the fact that pipelines are not in place in the Bakken region, the bulk of crude oil produced there primarily is hauled by rail. While crude oil on its own is not typically flammable, the Bakken crude has certain properties that make it flammable. A few pieces of legislation that are pending currently in D.C. addressing these issues. Uh, Senator Casey uh, co-sponsored the Hazardous Material Ra Rail Transportation Safety Improvement Act. It's currently in committee. This legislation will help get the most dangerous rail cars, cars off the tracks and help put safer cars on the tracks. It will also provide much needed funding for first responders in areas that are at risk for train derailments. Senator Casey said this bill is a step in the right direction and will help get safer rail cars on the tracks and ensure that our first responders have proper resources they need to respond to derailments. Senator Casey also co-sponsored the Response Act. This bill would establish a special division within FEMA that would provide recommendations to Congress within 12 months on emergency responder training and resource allocation. These will include addressing effectiveness of current funding levels related to training local emergency responders and how to increase the rate of access to the individual responder and existing or emergency communication technology. This special division would also look into development of train incident databases and the need to increase access to relevant, useful, and timely information for the local emergency responders, among other things. Senator Casey feels this bill is a step in the right direction and will ensure if a derailment happens, our first responders will have the proper resources that are needed to respond. The Hazardous Material Rail and Transportation Safety Improvement Act will also provide grants of up to $100 million over four years to reroute railroad tracks handling large volumes of flammable liquid and help states hire additional railroad inspectors. $3 million to expand the use of automated track inspections and the establishment of a short line safety institute to perform safety compliance assessments and safety training for short line railroads that transport, transport uh, crude oil. Proper classification ensures that emergency responders understand the hazards of the products being shipped and a correct way to respond in case of an accident. This act will also provide $45 million over th three years for first responders in at-risk communities with large quantities of crude oil that are being transported by rail. Thank you.